Have you ever wondered how guitars get that Spanish sound? You haven't? Well, have you ever wondered how they play like really fast? You haven't wondered that either? Have you ever wondered how they strum chords? You haven't wondered, okay. In this video, I wanna show you five awesome Spanish sounding chords and the music theory behind them. So when you play nylon string guitar, you can make things sound Spanish by playing a major scale type stuff with these flamenco techniques. Right? But that really harmonically doesn't sound Spanish because that's just the major scale. Is not, you know, characteristically Spanish, obviously. What does really have that Spanish sound is what we call the Phrygian scale or the Phrygian mode. And what makes that happen is two major chords right next to each other, one fret apart. Here's an E chord, here's an F chord, okay? Now that doesn't exist in the major scale and that's why it sounds distinct from the major scale. So we have an E chord, move it up, just a quintessential Spanish thing, right? So if this is our main chord on the song, it's a uppercase Roman numeral one, and this would be called a Roman numeral two uppercase with a flat symbol in front of it because it's a minor second away. Well, that minor second we can put into this chord. So here's E. This was an F chord, okay? We can give the flavor of these two chords of the Phrygian, the essence of Phrygian inside of one chord. So instead of having to go or on an A chord, and we'll show you some different variations of those things, we can just do it in the chord. So here's an E chord and just add an F note right there. So if you can locate the root of the chord, maybe not the low root, because that might sound a little bit disruptive. I'm putting my pinky on the third fret of the fourth string, that's an F note. And now we have this sound. And so encapsulated in that chord is the Phrygian sound. We didn't have to go E, F, E, F. And that's just a great way to dress up a chord and give it that sound right off the bat. Great to do an introduction to a song with that and just kind of set the mood. So if you were gonna play Malaganya, this would be a great chord to start with just to get everyone's attention. What would that look like on an A chord? Well, the flat nine, if A is the root, is B flat. That B flat would be here. We don't wanna play it as the low note, right? And there's that chord. Really awesome sounding chord. We can pull this off and hammer it on. Now the chord I opened with was an F sharp major chord. That's really just the E chord that I played earlier, turned into a bar up here. But what's the flat nine if F sharp is the root? It's G, right? Well, if I take this finger off, take the bar away, we have an open G string, that is the flat nine, so it's kind of built into the open strings here. And there's a flamenco form called tarantas that uses that. Right off the bat, we hear that Spanish sound. Another common Spanish key is B Phrygian. We talked about E Phrygian, we just did A Phrygian, and then we had F sharp Phrygian. B Phrygian is another common one because that's consistent with the key of E minor. So it's kind of a guitar key. So here's a B chord as a power chord. Just take your pinky up. That pinky's on the octave that's of the root. Move it up one fret. There's our C note, which is a flat nine. Really awesome sound against that open B string. What we're missing here is the third in the chord, the major third, so you could go like this. And if you notice, hey, that's what we just played here on A. It's the same thing, but check this out. When we have this up here on B, we get this open E string, not on the chord, but it's in the key. And we get this extra dissonance there with an E note against that D sharp note. So like I said, you, all you have to do is play that chord one time and all of a sudden it just sounds instantly Spanish. One more common guitar key is the key of F sharp minor. The five for F sharp minor would be C sharp seven but we can base our song over that five chord and then it becomes the one and that's where Phrygian lives. So check this out. Here is a C chord. Move it up one fret, we've got C sharp. Look what happens when we take this finger away. There's that Spanish sound again. All of these voicings, it really the same thing is happening. We have a major chord and then a flat nine, which is just a half step up, one fret up from the root. But each one of them has a different voicing and a different quality and a different vibe and atmosphere. So it's really awesome sound. So you might try to add these into some of your songs. So here's a bonus chord for you. What if you took this idea and flipped it around? So we have A, for example, and B flat. B flat being the flat nine. Well, what if I took a B flat chord and put A in the bass? That's the same idea in terms of mixing those two chords together. So watch what happens when we do this. That already has this sense of dissonance to it. It wants to go down there to this. But we can take this shape, add some scale notes here with this pattern. A few notes here coming out of this box shape.
But look what happens when I play that chord and just kind of noodle around with those notes. It doesn't matter what you do, really. Land on something that sounds good to you, but where I'm just gonna go. Just kind of randomly. Seeing that C sharp note there, that wasn't in the scale I just played, but it is in an A chord, so that kind of is consistent with that chord. But even if you just mess around with these six notes, it's gonna sound Spanish. Kind of amazing how all you have to do is add one note to a chord and it instantly evokes a certain type of music. And if you like that Spanish sound, check out my seven levels of Soleá, which is one of the main flamenco forms.